Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is D back again with another movie review. And this time I'm reviewing the 2010 Predator film, Predators. Predators is directed by Nimrod Antel and stars Adrian Brody, Topher Grace, Alice Braga, Walton Goggins, Lawrence Fishburne, Danny Trejo, and Mahershala Ali. Now what this film is about. A group of killers from Earth are dumped onto a mysterious planet that serves as a game reserve, a hunting ground for the Predators. This bunch ranges from mercenaries and serial killers to soldiers and even a member of the Yakuza, killers and generally high threat level individuals that have been brought to this place to be the prey. Adrian Brody plays Royce, a gruff, stoic, almost Clint Eastwoodian mercenary who kind of is the de facto leader of the group as they try to survive and figure out a way off of the planet. I saw this movie back when it first came out, but recently decided to rewatch it after watching 2022's Prey. And I actually enjoyed the film more this time than I did back when it was first released. One of the things I enjoy about this franchise is how the movies take place in different arenas. Predator 1987 was in the South American jungle. Predator 2 was in the urban jungle of LA. Prey was set in the North American wilderness of the 1700s. And this film Predators is set on an off-world planet the hunter aliens use as a game reserve. The premise is actually very cool. What this movie does well, atmosphere and environment moments of tension, creature design, and a couple memorable well done human and predator death sequences. I thought the sword fight with the Yakuza member was well done and really added to and pushed the lore forward that these creatures are proud warriors with a certain level of honor and appreciation for competition. They're not mindless monsters. Monsters, sure, but not mindless. The cast is serviceable to good, some are better than others. Walton Goggins as the FBI's most wanted wasn't convincing at all, and Topher Grace's heel turn in the latter part of the film felt very shoehorned in. I will say, as great as the premise is, they drop the ball a little bit with how little of the planet we actually get to see. There's a scene or two that hints at predators bringing creatures and life forms from all over the galaxy to this game reserve to be hunted. But we don't really get to see any other creatures outside of the predators and their guard dogs. This was a missed opportunity in my opinion. But overall, this was an entertaining predator film I gotta say. All of the elements were there, where I think if you're a fan of these creatures and their lore, then there should be some enjoyable moments for you here. Fan of the predator films? Then check this one out. But if you're a fan of predator films, you've probably already seen this one. Either way, give it a watch. All right, you guys, there you have it. That was my review for Predators. Definitely worth a watch for fans of the Predator franchise. But if you're a fan of the Predator franchise, you already know all that. But I do want to kind of correct or maybe go back to something that I said in my Prey review. Within that review, I flirted with the idea that maybe, just maybe, Prey could fit in that number three spot behind Predator 1 and Predator 2. I got to say... I was wrong about that. I shouldn't have even insinuated that because just overall, Predators, it fits better with Predator 1 and Predator 2. It touches on a lot of the same kind of energy that the first Predator have. It's obviously not anywhere as good as the first Predator. That's a classic right there. But it does kind of continue some of that same, you know, group of mercenaries in in the jungle or in a jungle going against you know the predator or predators so it kind of continues a lot of that same energy prey has a lot of positives kind of going for it i like i like the premise that premise would have worked fantastically with uh you know with the the traditional predator aesthetic and just maybe uh tweaking and changing and altering uh, the main characters in Prey because if you watch that review you you'll hear my kind of issues with the main protagonist so uh, I just I just kind of want to correct that some I, even though I never really and I never really uh, just declared that Prey was the third best film but I definitely kind of insinuated and hinted at you know Prey could be the third best film in the franchise Nah, I, I can't I can't really go with that. I can't commit to that. It goes Predator 1, 
Predator 2 and then Predator 3 and then Prey is in there way above 2018's The Predator. I think that's the proper order of things. Not to like shit on Prey, but there are some Prey has its issues. And as time passes, some of the things that I didn't have as much of an issue with before starting to look a kind of kind of funny in the light. Even the creature himself uh there's something kind of off about about him. The more I the more I kind of rewatch some of those scenes, it's kind of like uh, it's not it's not really hitting the same. So so that's that. But that was my review for Predators, the 2010 film. Definitely check it out for uh, you know fans of the Predator movies. That is it. I will catch you on the next go round. <laughs>